اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الصلاۃ والسلام علیکہ یا محمد السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وی آر ویری گلیڈ الحمد للہ دیٹ اللہ از ہیز بین ویری کائنڈ اینڈ مرسیفل آن اس سین فل سروینٹس اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ سیز ان دا ہولی قرآن دیٹ و از اراد شعین این یقول الہ کن فی کن دیٹ وین ایور اللہ ڈسائز ٹو ڈو سم تھنگ He just has, he just says kun uh, to that thing that do happen and that thing happens. Uh, kun fayakun. That Allah just orders that thing to happen and that thing happens. Uh, it's just very easy for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadeer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, uh, is able to do everything. Uh, nothing is beyond Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, for the past uh, some time, uh, with Allah's mercy, Alhamdulillah, uh, we have been uh, trying to spread this message of truth and trying to tell Muslim Ummah about the coming forth tough times and about the bright future after those tough times. Uh, initially, it looked like so lonely But Alhamdulillah, uh, by Allah's mercy, uh, the things are spreading, the message is spreading, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making it happen, just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنَا إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ That you don't need to be anxious, you don't need to worry, you don't need to distress, you will be the successful, you will be the ones who will be successful, who will... Uh, who will have the success if you are the mu'mins, if you are the righteous ones. Uh, Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our efforts. We hope that uh, we are on the right path. We expect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and, we, and then we wish and make dua from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us on the right path, Alhamdulillah. So that's uh, exactly what's happening, that the message of truth is spreading. Not only in Pakistan, uh, and every corner of Pakistan, the message is spreading. Um, all over the world alhamdulillah uh, previously you must have seen uh, that uh, we had uh, we had delegations from uh, indonesia and other parts of the world and now alhamdulillah we have a delegation from uh, malaysia and this delegation includes um, uh, the the educated and working uh, professionals uh, of malaysia and like some people ask us that why are all the delegations have been coming from Indonesia only before. Uh, so see, we have a delegation from Malaysia right now, and we do have people who, ha who are coming to Pakistan to join us, to support us from other parts of the world, like France, uh, United Kingdom, United States, uh, like other parts of Middle East. Uh, but you know, everyone has their own reality, their own circumstances. Not everyone is comfortable in coming forth and presenting some uh, themselves in front of camera and on social media. But Alhamdulillah, from time to time, we try to uh, bring our people uh, on camera who are Alhamdulillah willing uh, to support this cause openly and are willing to uh, uh, come forward uh, on camera. So today we have a delegation from Malaysia and we have uh, a brother uh, Abdullah Salam uh, who is uh, the head of an Islamic institution of uh, a madrasa in uh, Malaysia. Uh, he's a, he's, he's uh, like uh, running an Islamic school as, uh, as an uh, as organizer, organizer or the principal. And then we have brother uh, Abdul Salam. Uh, he's a working professional, mashallah, and, um, and a very uh, experienced and, um, and, and uh, really very good working professional, mashallah. And he has got a lot of uh, exposure, experience, and knowledge um, in Islamic eschatology and, and end of times and other uh, aspects of, uh, of, of uh, Quran and Sunnah, alhamdulillah. Uh, then we have brother Faisal, he's also a working professional and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him a uh, like uh, exposure and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him the tawfiq uh, to understand the matters of uh, end of times and how uh, things uh, would unfold in the coming future. Uh, so we'll talk to them one by one and see, see why are they in Pakistan and what are their intentions of spending their time, money and resources to come all the way in Pakistan 
and like apparently materially materially uh, materialistically speaking uh, they don't seem to have any um, material benefits of out of this trip spending their time money resources and leaving their jobs and families for uh, for some time uh, so i will talk to them one to one and try to understand what, what are their motivations and why are they here and how they see pakistan uh, in in the coming future uh, so let's get to uh, brother uh, Abdullah Salam, Brother Abdullah Salam, uh, uh, welcome to Pakistan, and we are very glad that you are here. So, uh, first of all, um, please introduce yourself. Uh, what do you do? And uh, like totally from as a personal perspective, uh, what are your qualifications? What do you do? And um, where do you live in Malaysia? Different whatever the introduction part you can tell them uh, from your side please assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you to bro awais nasir alhamdulillah mashallah uh, my name is abdullah salam bin muhammad shafi'i i am from selangor malaysia i am here as representative from malaysian to meet brother kasim especially Brother Muhammad Qasim Ibn Abdul Karim and all of his helpers here in Pakistan, mashallah. And we find this uh, very eye opening. Basically, myself as a teacher, as Tafis teacher in a madrasa in Malaysia, not very much student, just a few students. But in our madrasa, we uh, try to produce a hafiz, and me also try to introduce for them uh, some religious subjects uh, from Tawheed, Sirah, uh, Fiqh, and Tajweed, and so on. Yes as a basic uh, introduction for them to know about the religion, mashallah. So, uh, Brother Abdullah Salam, um, you have come all the way to Pakistan, you have spent your time, money, energy, resources, and you have left your family and your uh, work over there. So, you're not, you're not getting any kind of material benefit for uh, coming over here and you had all sort of uh, complications. Uh, this is like a corona scenario. You know, PCR tests and uh, and then vaccination and visa complication, all sorts of things. So, what are you getting out of this visit? Why are you in Pakistan in the first place? Tell us. Be being an ustad, we understand that you can explain things uh, from very beginning to detail, uh, you know, in a very good fashion. So, please tell us thoroughly what is your basic purpose of coming to Pakistan? Why are you here in the first place? Alhamdulillah, I come here. Uh, although many complications uh, about the process, but uh, for me it's nothing. It's just a procedure that we need to take. The benefit that we get is we really want to meet uh, Bro Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim and to meet him in person, to know him in more details to look at his own uh, attributes and behaviors and to know him more in deep, in personal level. So this is uh, the first and the ultimate motivation why we are here uh, because uh, by reading only from his dreams, of course, uh, we did study from his dreams uh, in details and it's opened our eyes and opened our minds that the end is near, but uh, still we need to check on his personal level. Uh, so, although me personally, by reading his dreams, I already convinced that this is 
really from Allah himself but when when we meet him me personally uh, we discover a lot more dimension that uh, strengthen our belief that this person is not a liar this person is not lying so that make us forget whatever complication that we may face before and after and alhamdulillah for all of these things so um, thank you jazakallah uh, brother abdullah salam uh, for explaining your intentions of coming here uh, but for uh, the youtube viewers uh, mainly you would uh, know our videos reach out to new people as well so there will be many people who uh, may not know the whole context who Muhammad Qasim is and what is uh, his message and uh, like uh, uh, why are his dreams and everything related to his, him is so important so uh, I'll go to uh, brother Abdul Salam to first introduce himself and then tell us uh, a basic introduction about Muhammad Qasim, who he, he is, what is the scene of his dreams and why are they important? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My name is Abdul Salam um, from East Malaysia. Actually, I work in the center of Kuala Lumpur in the big mall as a senior concierge there. And then I come here to Actually, we want to meet Muhammad Qasim because I have been studying about his dream since 2017. So I'm very interested about uh, who is who is Muhammad Qasim because actually he meets with the uh, hadith like uh, one hadith who is a uh, one leader become a leader in the uh, in end of time that we waiting for. This, uh, this man, I believe, he's like, uh, we call it Al-Mahdi because his dreams very meet with the Prophet Muhammad said 1500 years ago and I believe him and I study his dream and uh, his, his name same with the Prophet name actually and he's come from a Quraysh lineage so interested and come here meet meet him face face to face and i believe he is not lying because his attitude show him show me that he's very true person so uh, we have the third person with us that is brother Faisal, and he's a very interesting person mashallah with very <laughs> up to the shoulder long hair uh, nice personality and most interestingly he does something that I was surprised to hear that I have only seen on uh, National Geographic only. <laughs> so, uh, Faisal, brother, uh, tell us about yourself, uh, what do you do and what's your professional life? That's like something very interesting that like I've been fascinating. Oh, who are these people who go and do this kind of stuff? So, please introduce yourself, uh, who you are, where you're from and what do you do? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Muhammad Faisal bin Roslan from Trenganu, Malaysia. I'm one of the freelance air diver that uh, working... Air diver? Air diver. Oh wow, you jump from the planes? Uh, no, 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 no. We jump from the ship. Oh, sea divers. Yeah, sea diver. Oh, yes, uh, but, I thought you jumped from the planes. But uh, <laughs> the names uh, they call air diver. Air diver. Yeah, air diver. I air don't know. Diver. Yeah, air diver. Air diver. The letter A. A. Or? A I R. Air, air diver. diver. Air diver are not the ones who dive from no, the no, sky. No, no, no. Because maybe because we use air to breathe inside the water oh maybe <laughs> we stay using air to breathe okay, inside the water okay. alhamdulillah okay uh, so for the audience to understand we'll call you a sea diver yeah we, we go into the sea we, water 
Yeah, 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 correct. Uh, so for my professional, I'm I always working inside the water. Uh, whatever task inside the water, I try to solve it. Uh, by our team, by our team, like anything to do inside the water, like welding, cutting, cleaning, or uh, whatever, like install the bowl and nut, drilling, <laughs> everything. Do you have water. any videos of you doing that work all the way inside the water? Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, <laughs> every time we go inside the water, we record it and uh -huh. I have some video. Oh. By my own, Alhamdulillah. That oh, I will show to brother I was, uh, but uh, I'm not a superhuman. I'm just a normal human <laughs> that Allah gives to me to explore inside the water. That's uh, we call rescue. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. So, from the depths of the sea to the heights of spirituality, what's the combination? How come? Like from the depths of the sea, you got a connection, spiritual connection, and you got to know something that science doesn't understand, that is beyond science, and you paid so much attention to that that you came all the way from Malaysia to Pakistan. What's the story? Okay, basically, I come straight away to Pakistan to see by myself who is Muhammad Qasim bin Ibn Abdul Karim that uh, we just know it's already viral in social media and Alhamdulillah he is not lying and because I know the dreams is basically come true from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, Alhamdulillah is a very how did you discover this all scene like uh, how come you got to know about it and you understood this message uh, I understand uh, the message if for me uh, nobody can play with the name of Allah and Prophet Muhammad Who, whoever in this earth cannot play the name of Allah and Prophet Muhammad so if we we can see it's already spread the dream around seven year by your logical thinking nobody we brave to play with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and alhamdulillah when I come and see him yeah I'm sure it's hundred percent from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and brother Qasim is not a liar alhamdulillah